So Satish, uh, good to have you here and welcome you to Ipsu Entrepreneurial Journey. And I have some questions to, to ask you. So here we go. We know that you are an entrepreneur and investor and you are recognized by your leadership and marketing and branding and you, fund, and you funded uh, Blue, Blue Band Digital and Q Software versus Music. And, but can you tell us a little bit your experience beside this great companies you made? Um, I, I think, you know, the companies are the experience, right? Like, you know, the companies allow me to work on uh, things that are important to me, you know, my, my skill sets, my soft skills, my passion, my fears, um, my inspiration. Uh, that's the stuff that's inside this thing we call the business. And right. every company you just named off um, played a different part in teaching me something about that. And I think ultimately anybody that gets into the business um, or starting a business, that is the real purpose. You know, uh, that's right. the part that we can control what we learn, how we grow, how we evolve. And so I think entrepreneurship has been the greatest thing in my life to make me a, a better person. Okay. Very, very nice. And we want to know how to apply your entrepreneurial posture, like the way you, you, you make your, your, your companies uh, inside your profession, inside the, the business profession, inside the um, maybe engineering or someone that wants to make a business and inside their profession, how can they be an entrepreneur? Yeah, no, that's a great question. And, you know, I think I always go back when I talk to people to go, look, the idea of a business is to solve a problem. And, you know, what I always ask anybody I meet is what problem are you trying to solve? Right. And when you ask them, what problem are you trying to solve? The answer is much different than what's your company, right? And most people get stuck on, I want to do a company that does this and this and this. Okay. But what problem are you trying to solve? Right. And so I spend a lot of time thinking about what problems do I want to solve? And when I really get excited about solving a problem and it's big enough and it's scary enough and it's adventurous enough, then the act of solving that problem is what you call running a business. Right. You know, who are the right customers? Who are the right people? Who is the right process? What's the right investment? Those are all micro decisions that is easier to make. Um, there's no success and failure at that point because you're attacking a problem that you're passionate about. And so that's what I would tell anybody, you know, in a 30 second sort of elevator sort of feedback would be really understand why are you solving this problem? And sometimes the answer is I need to go build a business. Sometimes it's who else is solving it that I can just join and help them solve it better. And right. we take the ego out of the title of CEO and president and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, the fulfillment comes from knowing that you solved the problem. Nice. Very and nice. helped a bunch of people. Yeah. Uh, in your whole history that you, you know, you came from a country with low opportunities and went to Canada and here in our region, our reality is that a lot of people try and, and think about uh, entrepreneurship, but they, they're not capable of finding opportunities or they, they have some difficulty with it. Uh, what are your advice and your tips for those people? Yeah, you know, I, I believe there's, there's, there's the right way to look at entrepreneurship and the wrong way. And most people tend to look at entrepreneurship from a finance perspective. You know, uh, I don't know what to start because I don't know how to make a lot of money. Right. And so this idea of financial return, which is important, you want to, you know, start a business where you can make money, stops most people because they're envisioning a number based on what they see online, you know, thousands of dollars and recurring income and drop shipping and man, everybody's making a lot of money. I don't know how to do it. So when you go back to my first answer of understanding what problem you're trying to solve, there is so many problems in the world in every category, right? Probably in your neighborhood or in your school or in your province, there's problems that people haven't solved that are you know, still there that you can take on to, to continue to solve it and make some money, right? And so I think if, if, if we continue with this trend of find a problem, really understand who that problem is for, and then go to that person and say, hey, if I can eliminate this problem for you, what is it worth to you? And the customer would tell you, you know, it's worth, you know, 100 reais, 300 reais, 1,000 reais, and you get to work, right? right? It's the people that start from the opposite to go, man, how do I make a million dollars today? What business do I start? And how do I, you know, financially, you know, start day one? Well, you can't really start too much because you're already telling yourself all the reasons why you can't start something. So I always say, look, entrepreneurship, 
is, is no magic sauce. You know, you find a problem, you confirm with a bunch of customers that this is a real problem and that you have a solution that they're willing to pay on. And then you grow the company and what you're worth over time. I always tell everybody, when you meet me at Blue Band before we sold the company, our average website was two, 300,000. But 12 years before that, I was building websites for 500 bucks. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Has the web industry evolved so much in 10 years that now the same work with worth, you know, a thousand percent more? No, but you increase your value as right. you get better at solving people's problems. So get into the business of looking for problems to solve. Okay. So thank you, Satish. And we'll see you at December 7th at 9 p.m. in If So Entrepreneurial Journey. See you. Amazing. Looking forward to it.